Mm. It's 8.30 a.m. on November 28th, and it is Small Business Saturday. One place I've been dying to go is Chartreuse and Company, the Chartreuse Barn in Frederick, Maryland, to see all the vendors there and to do some shopping. They are following the CDC guidelines, so it is going to be safe. Uh, they have a little indoor shopping space, which they're only letting in 45 people at a time, and then they have the outdoor space as well with little tents that we can all go to. And so I want to go check that out, and I thought I'd take you guys along for the journey.
it's been a few days since visiting the chartreuse barn in frederick maryland and i need to show you guys what i found to start we have this antique basket it just was painted black at one point and the paint has chipped away and i really like that look it can be used for just about anything it's on the smaller side so nothing crazy big i think if you're big into knitting crocheting you can put your yarn in it or if you just want to put some Christmas decor, it's got a really cool look for that as well. Next up, I have three antique scissors made entirely of metal. Uh, I like them. I got all three of them for $10. It's something I've been collecting and selling here for the past couple months. One is a little broken on the end. You can see that there. But they all have that really wonderful snip sound to them. And I wanted to test them. like butter. Next is this crystal decanter. Now this is leaded, so it's not safe to use, can't store anything in it, especially alcohol, and definitely don't consume anything out of it, but it's got a very gorgeous look to it. Uh, I love how the light shines through it. You get that prism. I might put it in my booth for sale uh, for a little while, and if it doesn't move, I will label it as lead, leaded crystal glass. But if it doesn't sell, then I might just bring it home. And the last things that I picked up were these two antique leather suitcases, both genuine cowhide and in not such great shape. One is better than the other. After wiping all the dust off, I did put a leather conditioner on them to help preserve it as much as I could. Uh, I got the one that is in not so great of shape for five bucks and I got the better shaped one for 15. I, I'll take them to my booth and try and resell them. Sometimes local movie production companies will come to the mall and buy some props for their period pieces. And so I could see these being used in a, a production. Now the Chartreuse Barn is more of a show environment. It's not something I would normally go to to look for re something to resell. But as of right now, because I'm living in my parents' house, I don't really have a space to put things to buy. I still want to support people but it works better if I go looking for things that I can resell and I can buy those items at their cost and then put them in my booth still and I still get to support them and I get to curve my shopping habit but then also maybe I make a few bucks as well. This isn't necessarily someplace you want to go pick. Um, maybe it's more for just shopping for yourself but I was able to find a few things that I could I think myself resale. To mention I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and walking around and seeing everybody's beautiful Christmas displays. It really felt like I was actually doing something to get a little bit of Christmas cheer this year. I don't think I'm going to get much of that. I'll definitely be going again um, probably within the next year.